Assalamualaikum semua. Selamat tengah hari dan terima kasih kerana menonton live chat with Hasni dan Ali. Ini adalah chat, live chat untuk kaum wanita. Boleh kaum wanita dan kita akan uh, share isu-isu uh, atau soalan-soalan yang relevan lah dengan kaum wanita. Dan hari ini uh, kita dah tahu topiknya tentang perut kempis. Okay? Tapi uh, sebelum itu saya ingin cerita sikit lain. Like, perut saya kurang kempis hari ini. <laughs> kerana saya baru pulang daripada FitPap uh, Dream Cruise. Uh, on Dream Cruises uh, bersama Dreamcation dan sana terlampau banyak makanan yang ada buffet ya, dan semua halal jadi hari-hari macam makan ais krim soft serve tu jadi nak cakap pasal perut kempis pun segan sikit hari ni nasib baik saya ada uh, tamu yang betul-betul kempis dia punya perut eh. jadi kita sama-sama belajar daripada dia hari ini insyaAllah um, saya ingin tunjuk sedikit apa yang berlaku atas cruise bersama feedback baru-baru ini soalan-soalan yang sering ditanya kepada saya uh, di dalaman social media. Hmm. Okey, yang soalan pertama yang selalu saya dapat adalah bila saya boleh mula bersenam selepas melahirkan anak? Apakah jenis senaman yang sesuai selepas melahirkan anak? Apakah formula perut kempis selepas melahirkan anak dan bagaimana kembali lantin? Ya, betul. Ini soalan-soalan yang memang relevan dan dalam pergerakan feedback memang ramai ibu-ibu. Dan mereka juga inginkan panduan dan sebagainya. Memang kita dah banyak cakap tentang isu ini. Kita nak lansingkan badan, mesti bersenam dan makan sihat, betul? Dan perut kempis ni sebenarnya banyak tips dia. Dan saya ingin kongsi sedikit sebelum nanti tamu kita yang really really kempis dan langsing dan baru berusia 34 tahun <laughs> akan cerita uh, uh, tentang 
dia punya tips pula. Bagi saya, saya tak lepas pantang, okay? Walaupun saya modern, cik, modern, eh? tapi bila melahirkan saya mengamalkan uh, confinement practices. Confinement practices dalam pantang, tak boleh menanya sejuk, tak boleh makan benda-benda sejuk, kena pakai slipper, pakai stokin dalam rumah dan sebagainya dan bengkung. Saya tak lepas bengkung malah kerana saya tiga C-section, saya terpaksa mengutamakan urut badan satu bulan dan juga bengkung selama satu bulan bila saya dah melahirkan Kadisa. Kerana bila saya melahirkan Kadisa, usia saya 38 tahun, tak muda dan memang banyak loose skin from the first two pregnancies. Setiap kali saya mengandung, saya akan put on 22 kilogram dan saya bukan antara yang bernasib baik eh, yang macam tak tak put on. Maybe ada more 10 kilo je tapi saya tak. Tapi sejak ada formula fit set, anak kedua saya dah tahu senaman apa, makanan. Not so bad lah bila dah ada kadisa tu dalam 6 bulan saya dapat kuruskan badan. Tapi memang tak senang, suka, susah. Pasal kita dah 38 tahun tapi uh, saya cukup disiplin. I must say that I was disiplined. Dan saya ada tiga orang anak, bila saya rasa nak give up, saya rasa macam perut saya tak cantik ke saya rasa macam kenapalah perut dah tak macam dulu bila nak darah saya akan lihat mereka dan saya akan bersyukur memang tak samalah uh, walaupun orang cakap saya macam sama sebenarnya tak <laughs> saya sendiri tahu yang dah lain ya dah lain sangat perut tak macam dulu tak ketat elasticity pun lain dan saya juga menggunakan korset lah gede-gede semua untuk pakai dress atau saya ada majlis yang saya nak pakai uh, pakaian dress yang cantik eh, memang kita harus usaha lah tak boleh expect kita punya diri ni terus jadi macam dulu tapi walaupun tak sama macam dulu lebih anggun kan kalau kita pandai menggayakan diri kita kita pun tahu bawa diri kita dah ibu memang tak sama perut lah tapi overall kita can still look quite the same uh, dan hari ni saya akan uh, dapatkan juga pandangan uh, coach Zivi nanti eh. ini anak-anak saya saya dah ada slim down ni eh. uh, Karisa dalam setahun lebih dan saya akui bahawa um, after all my third pregnancy tu lagi, lagi senang nak lose Sweet. Because saya dah ada formula, tak ada higi-higi atau tersalah atau ter 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 makan ter malas tak ada. Pasal kita dah tahu, you want to have that body back, this is what you have to do. Dan saya punya regimen enam bulan. Uh, kita si section tiga bulan baru dikasih green light oleh guy ni untuk bersenam dan alhamdulillah saya dapat mengurangkan berat badan in six months. Tapi still lose weight tapi tak berapa tone eh. So after the six months baru kita nak extra extra tu kita weight training kita cardio and jaga pemakanan baru dia jadi tone eh, and all that. So dan jangan lupa some, sometimes kita wanita ni expectation very high. Kita sebelum mengandung tu tak kurus tau. <laughs> okay, like my first when I got pregnant second one I was already 70 kilo. Pasal yang first one kita tak lose the weight all the weight. So sekarang kita ingat pre pregnancy weight kita apa sebenarnya. So your target itu dulu. Jangan terus nak eh macam dulu ah masa zaman naik pelamin tu lah. Slowly dulu pre pregnancy weight then from there you tell yourself eh if I can do this in 6 months why not I proceed in another 6 months. InsyaAllah lagi 6 bulan terus boleh dapat badan macam nak darah dulu lah. Ya yeah, insyaAllah. Okay so that is my personal experience bila saya melahirkan anak dan ramai orang lupa yang saya pernah gemuk pasal bila saya gemuk saya tak keluar TV lah saya belakang tabir lah belakang belakang tabir malu nak ambil gambar kan jadi bukan saya macam gini je eh, saya memang berubah banyak bila mengandung dulu eh sampai orang tak kenal itu anak saya Kadisa so saya dah kurus dia pula tembam <laughs> Ya, anak saya yang nombor tiga tu. Macam Kistina rupa dia kan. So, as a mother, memang cubaan kita. Why? Kita nak kuruskan badan. Kita nak pulihkan diri kita selepas melahirkan anak. Tapi kita juga nak jaga anak. Tapi kita nak. Kita pula rimas dengan diri kita. Eh? Masih berat badan, masih belum uh, turun. Perut masih be, uh, be, apa, besar dan sebagainya. Jadi, itu yang kita uh, selalu kena manage bila kita baru melahirkan. Dan kalau kita tak manage betul-betul, boleh terkena postnatal depression and this is not something uh, light or to be taken lightly okay uh, saya pernah hampir-hampir kena yang penting kita ibu-ibu harus self aware tentang diri kita okay kalau kita rasa macam uh, macam je i feel murung walaupun ada anak eh dan macam tak ada me time kita perlu rehat 
beritahu sesuatu seorang suami ke mak kita eh, kalau kita confinement selalu duduk dengan mak cakap mami uh, boleh tolong jagakan one hour i need this rest i need to sleep or uh, talk to your husband i need to take a walk okay i'm disturbed 30 minit you have to be aware because kemurungan boleh datang kerana kita tengok diri kita ya Allah macam dah tiga anak tapi kita rasa tak lawa macam kita punya perut tu lagi teruk eh macam saya the to recover from C section at 38 years old parah it's not easy in fact i was quite scared when i tahu yang i have to go through C section for my third one i rasa macam takut jugaklah pasal saya uh, mengandungkan Kadisa pada usia 37 tahun eh dan saya rasa lain kalau dulu Kristina saya melahirkan dia saya 32 tahun jadi kan beza kan eh? 5 tahun 8 uh, ya yeah, 5 years difference eh uh, to wait for that tapi alhamdulillah kita mesti dengar juga cakap orang-orang tua confinement dengar cakap doktor jangan doktor cakap gini kita gitu kita harus lebih uh, have to be open minded yet traditional um, traditional punya practices like kita jangan minum air sejuk sebagainya makan makanan confinement saya uh, aku eh saya dapat loss 10 kg dalam masa satu bulan banyaklah kalau kita urut semua kuai angin segalanya from the pregnancy uh, kita sebenarnya kalau baru melahirkan lagi senang untuk lose weight kalau kita disiplin yang dalam pantang tu okey anda jangan lupa like or share uh, my live chat hari ini live chat bersama Hasin Ali. Um, dan saya juga ingin reveal lah kita punya <laughs> kita punya guest hari ini coach Siti Zivi. Ya, terima kasih kerana datang ke Wisma Gelang Serai Studio on Cue. Yes, terima kasih. Ah, ha, gitu dia. Begitu kempis ibu kepada dua orang anak. Berapa saya pun baru balik holiday juga. Oh, <laughs> eh, kan? dari mana? Ha, dari, dari Penang. Oh, Penang. Makan yeah. banyak ais tu sedap. Yes, yeah, sedap. So, so when you on holiday do you jaga your diet? Uh, balance. balance. So yeah. sometimes saya ada uh, like big portion of like macam nasi kanda kat sana uh-huh. in feeding popular. Uh-huh. Then maybe the other meal makan check banyak sayur ke salad ke. Uh-huh. Yeah, so balance. Balance lah. Mm. Eh. <coughs> Jadi uh, apa ni uh, kita akan sambung nanti. So, okay. Jadi cuma saya nak uh, ingatkan lah kita punya topik. Bagaimana yes. kaum ibu boleh dapatkan perut? Kempis, please share your tips later with us. Insyaallah. Yes. Haslinda Ali, founder of FitFab, the leading Muslima fitness and wellness movement in Singapore. I founded FitFab in 2014. In 2015, I launched my first line of FitFab apparel. Till today, I am designing and creating head-to-toe Muslimah apparel fit for the active hijabis. itu ni berjaya kan Ha 
gagah seperti naga. Cerita setiap masa. Dah, dah makan Bukan dah. Bukan apa tadi? Ha? Tengah hari, semua datang ke sini. <laughs> Nak kempiskan ah, perut. Tak usah semua stres. Stres. Nak makan apa? Uh, I minum soya bean. Oh, saya so uh, pagi baru makan tengah yeah, hari lah. Biasa. Uh, okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, Zivi. Kita selalu nampak you wear the guard on stage. Dan mm-hmm. saya tak akan lupa bila anda on stage, bila mengandung pun the guard <laughs> saya yang geruk you. <laughs> Okey, itu ada clearance daripada guy ni ya. Betul, eh? doktor masing-masing kan Zivi. Yeah. Jadi Zivi bila um, mengandung, berapa banyak uh, you put on weight? Okey, um, pada okay, yang first one, I gain dalam 26 ke 28 kilo. Yeah. Eh, jangan terperanjat, I tahu mata wow. you terbelolok. Dulu <laughs> saya gain 20 je, kata yeah. marah. Jadi I ni lebih sikit. Buat awak really up lagi eh. Uh, uh. <laughs> ni kongnya bukan competition. Tak, tak, ni tak bagus ni competition. Okay. Yang second one? Yang second one dalam 22 kilo. Wow. Mm. So, Ya. Yeah. Okey, pada yeah. gambar kan. Cuba tengokkan gambar yang kita punya coach ZB very 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 chubby yeah. and so cute. Sweet. And there you go. Okay. But doesn't look like it. You look great inside. Oh, you thank look you. look very macam you know you are radiant and healthy. Yeah. Ya. Yeah, so tapi itu tak menidakkan you have to lose 28 kilo, <laughs> 26 kilo. Yeah. Tell us how you did it. Okay, um, I was already uh, working out still. Uh, uh, Bila time yeah, I tengah mengandung. Eh? Mm, I was active. Tapi mungkin cara pemakanan saya pada masa tu okay, sama bila saya tak mengandung. Oh. Jadi, bila saya tengah mengandung tu, saya banyak arahan aje lah. Uh, tu, uh, uh. Uh, banyak arahan aje. Oh, you tak buat uh, tapi... Buat sikit. Sikit tapi uh, tak macam maksimum 100%. Uh, yes. Lah. Dengan my workout uh, secara sendiri, sendiri tak tak as intensif hmm. macam when I'm not preg- not pregnant lah. Hmm. Yeah, so... Berapa uh, lama you take to lose that 26 kilo? Uh, in stages. Uh-uh. So generally in about less than 6 months. Mm, cepat mm. tau kira. Eh, jadi uh. boleh kongsi apa yang anda buat? Okay, I uh. think semua orang tahu senaman dengan makanan yang seimbang. Uh, dengan uh, the next one, of course a lot of water. No air manis-manis. Wow. Air putih je lah. Uh, air putih Zero je. Calories. <laughs> Zero calories. Zero yeah. calories. Uh, dengan teh, okay, green tea. That's my biggest tip. Oh, right. yeah. Without sugar lah. The, Without sugar. Yeah. Uh, green Is it tea. cold or warm? Uh, warm. Warm, right? Yeah. Yeah. And especially after giving birth, I think semua kaum Melayu, uh, ibu-ibu, betam dia bersalin, we go through this uh, confinement stage. Oh, yeah. Uh, bengkong pun sama eh macam yeah. Kak Nina juga uh, mementingkan mm, mm. jadi satu bulan tu betul-betul jaga pantang ah betul-betul jaga pantang sampai yang nombor uh, pun eh not 100% pasal ada <laughs> keluar juga ah itulah tak boleh diam kan kalau dah fitness jangan <laughs> pasal tak boleh duduk diam uh, uh. ya yeah. tapi you keluar mungkin just to see the doctor or to uh, go to the doctor tak? take a walk sama lah mm. iPhone kalau mm. lain daripada tak eh ah, tak ya yeah. mm. pasal saya tahu kalau 100% selalunya duduk rumah aje mm, dengan okay. pergi ke doktor dengan Uh, balik. Uh, Jadi Zivi bukan saja coach, eh? bukan saja coach, fitness instructor, ibu kepada dua orang anak, already in your 30s. Mm. Jadi tak mustahil untuk kempis balik ya. Macam kita tengok mm. your fitness regime. Kita ada video of your fitness regime, coach Siti Zivi. Eh? Dia tinggal eh, kita nampak. Seram okay. kan? <laughs> tak semua orang boleh buat macam ini eh. Don't follow. Ini <laughs> <Aja. laughs> uh, semua tengah dalam 34 minggu. Wow. Yeah. I envy ya. Eh? Mother's weekend dia. Ini saya dah give birth, dah going back to the gym, uh, straight back to training as well. I do weight training as well, cardio, flexibility, kind of exercises. Dan Zivi cuba C-section. Jadi, yes, how yeah. long uh, you have to wait before you can start? Uh, okay, because I gave birth uh, on well, my first one, mm. uh, my my child, uh, I gave birth at 42 weeks. Uh-huh. And then lepas tu, I gave myself about five weeks. Okay, right. but the guy ni actually cleared me after Early four right? weeks. Oh, yeah, four weeks yeah, four weeks. But after six session, I highly advise after six weeks. Ah, yeah. Tengok anak you too cute. Uh-huh. Yang if you nampak yang kanan tu, pas uh-huh. anak I sakit, tengok muka I pun sakit. <laughs> sakit eh? yeah. 
That's why kadang-kadang kita lupa ni diri kita ni. Mm, 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 kita terpaksa jaga anak juga mm, dan terpaksa nak, nak nak pulihkan badan ni lepas mm, lepas beranak mm, dan nak kerja dan sebagainya. Jadi apakah nasihat Zivi untuk mereka yang baru melahirkan dan dia also worry about their weight, habis anak dan sebagainya. You yourself you are in that stage kan pasal mm, anak kedua mm, ni. Mm. How do you manage? Uh, pertama jangan stress. Oh. Jangan stress. <laughs> But kedua mesti ada planning. Planning penting. Planning untuk uh, uh, jaga anak ini. lain, uh. planning untuk um, exercise lain, planning makan also lain. Kita kena ada planning. Kalau tak ada betul, planning, betul. tak boleh kena besok apa uh, bangun pagi terus fikir hmm. apa nak buat. Alamak. So, you banyak buat home workout macam ni eh? Uh, I pun banyak home ah, workout. Good. So, especially in my first Uh, Beautiful first few months uh-uh. of the pregnancy pasal eh not pregnancy post pregnancy, uh, post pregnancy. I kena jaga anak most of the time yes. but alhamdulillah I have my mak mentua bapa mentua uh, family yeah, support my whole family eh? support my parents also mm. uh, dorang help to jaga I punya kids mm-hmm. um, but when they are at home so when the kids are sleeping mm. I worked out mm-hmm. atau sometimes pukul 10 malam sampai pukul 9 uh, yeah. malam orang dah tidur I work out So because pagi petang misalnya kalau baby hmm. tidur my anak yang pertama yang bangun. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, jadi kenapa Zibi macam so motivated to work out? Okay. Adakah kerana takut badan tak boleh balik asal ke more for what reasons yang motivated? Ah, uh, pasal nak balik kerja. Oh, <laughs> okay. Number one. And you want to at least more uh, more stamina, stamina wise. wise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pasal saya okay. ajar kind of high Ayo, energy eh? classes uh-huh. Macam Zumba, Fight Do And this require stamina yeah. So that's my number one priority uh, kedua, kedua initially My first pregnancy I have some pressure Pasal yeah. orang okay. fikir Fikir, okay, Zewi fitness instructor Sure, Zewi can bounce back fast. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> fast And then uh, But then um, My husband and my family Encourage me like take my time mm-hmm. Then you know what to do. Yeah. You are a fitness professional, That's so right. um, I take my time, mm. and then um, I take my time and planning. So of course, it's a little bit tough pada yes. mulanya. Yeah. Yeah. Yang penting kita jangan pressure diri kita. Mm. Pasal kita tahu kita punya own, uh, let's say kita punya own lifestyle. Yeah. Kita punya demands of our kerja. Mm-hmm. Kadang kita tengok orang lain jangan lama. If she can do it four months, yeah. why not kan? Tapi tak eh, tak semestinya yeah. put that pressure lah. As long as we are losing weight, I think kita yes. doing something. Yang is pertama good. is jangan tangguh. Ah, yeah. betul. Jangan tangguh. Uh, ah, ah, niat suci. Niat, niat. <laughs> tapi tengah ada niat tapi tak buat dia. Betul, tak ada plan ha. kan. Kata orang tak yeah. ada, what is your plan kan? Pasal banyaknya ada niat tapi tak buat. Ini betul. Dan saya nak tanya straight on sekarang. Mm-hmm. Macam mana boleh kempiskan perut? Okay. So, we ada two C-section. Yes. You are 34. I wouldn't say you're in your 20s. But I think it's easier for most people who are mm-hmm. younger. Yes, so, of course. So, how do you do it? Cuba ceritakan sedikit. Uh, okay, for perut. Per, eh? For mm. perut. Uh, okay, especially after. Okay, I would admit my body, I think, and almost every mom's body, mm-hmm. I believe, uh, Berbeza sebelum pregnant yeah. dengan tak pregnant. So even if you see me lose weight, I still have stretch marks. Okay. I loose still, skin, eh? yeah, I, I still have loose skin. Mm. I don't want people to like look at uh, me mm-hmm. or anyone else. Probably when we yeah. lose weight, then they see, oh, okay. Uh, Itulah dia. Yeah. Pas apa? Kerja kita tak perlu kita pakai bikini. Eh, Alhamdulillah, kita tak nampak apa. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Kalau cerita model, Victoria pun model. Itu lain cerita. Kena set. Itu lain cerita. Right, that's why I said as long as we look presentable. Yeah. In our clothes, in our mm-hmm. fitness gear, Alhamdulillah. Betul? Mm, yes. Ya, memang tak sama macam dulu. Kita yeah. teruskan. Um, okay, wait. Apa soalan tadi? Soalan ni pasal perut lah. Ah, pasal so, perut. Okay. Kan perut tu kan? Macam ah. mana tips anda? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. For perut, Okay, per, okay, pertama, okay, kita tahu pasal exercise. So, after you get clearance daripada guy ni, yang penting, you start your exercise in stages. So, yeah. first, you do lower impact exercise, mm. just to get your stamina, condition yourself. We call it the conditioning, conditioning phase. Yes. Yeah, recovery, conditioning. Then, phase number dua. Mm. That's where you start to ramp up your intensity. Mm. So that's where you want to do a bit more of higher intensity mm. cardio, yeah. uh, seperti boot camp. Mm-hmm. So join Fit Fat Boot Camp. Philoxing. <laughs> yes, yeah, philoxing. Zumba, Zumba fitness okay, also. Fitness, yeah. uh, mungkin in the first few stages mm-hmm. is uh, cari exercise yang you enjoy. 
Ya. Ya. Kawan-kawan pun ada hmm. eh. Kalau seorang-seorang macam tak tahu eh. Ya. Mana nak start dengan kadang ya. eh. Group fitness lah eh. Tapi hmm. I understand also for moms hmm. uh, nak keluar, nak pergi cari kelas pun uh, susah. Ya. Hmm. Uh, one way is to invest in a personal trainer. Hmm. Yeah. Ya, ya. Yes, invest in a personal trainer. <laughs> I know okay, in comparison dengan class dengan personal trainer mm. uh, is the the investment is different lain lain lah, yeah berbeza mm. tetapi with personal trainer um, they have the knowledge um, and also the to educate you mm. how to okay. maximize your workout every yeah, time okay. mm. and then secondly also when you have a personal trainer yes. um, yang more motivated Correct. and can go according to, to your schedule lah. Mm. Mungkin dalam tiga bulan je ambil atau yeah. dua bulan eh. At yeah. least you have that knowledge and yeah. that personalized uh, mm. attention eh. Mm. Somebody to check on your food and yes. stuff like that. Betul. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I also have a question from mm. Kak Misna Abdullah. I know this is my book. Hi Kak Misna. Kak Misna Hello. Also a Jomkurus member. Okay, she says, mm -hmm. okay, hi Chief, given birth through C-section, we have that lump of fats around the tummy mm -hmm. area. Uh, it's tough to get rid of it, and doing vigorous tummy exercise <laughs> frightens me. Yeah, nobody wants to do vigorous. Uh, frightens Good. her, and she's afraid <laughs> it will burst through. <laughs> Although it has been almost 20 years ago since my youngest son. Okay. 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 Mm. Lepas dah lepas 20 tahun. Okay, mm. you still ada phobia ni. Uh -huh. Ah, macam mana? Okay. And she said there's a lump of fat uh, <laughs> still around the tummy area. Memang kita semua ada lah. Yes. The wound, eh? Yeah, it's yeah. and. That scar and then there's yeah. that layer. Yes, right. Yeah, unless if you're ultimately lean. Yeah, yeah, you lean have eh? very, very low, low body fat. Yeah, low body fat percentage. And of course, okay, let's put it this way. I just also want to, macam kata orang disclaimer sikit. Mm -hmm. eh. Kalau kita tengok the Western culture, they mm -hmm. do go for plastic surgery. It's yeah. called a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I was first working out, so I was thinking my tummy is going to be really flat. Mm -hmm. So when I was in place, I that loose skin. Then my personal trainer dropped the bomb and said, no, you're not going to have that. Yeah. This is as good as it gets. Yeah. And then he says, "Kalau you not, you kena potong." <laughs> I said, "What? Pergi lah, Thailand lagi murah macam tu." I said, "So we can't." And and that's the only way tummy tuck. Mm, mm, so mm, some mm, people mm. do that. Yeah. Section and tummy tuck sekali. So look, what you see sometimes is airbrush. What you see like, eh, hey, kenapa this person can have this kind of flat tummy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like the Western celebrities, yes. uh, it's actually a lot of other things that goes behind it. Yes. Betul? Betul. <laughs> and, uh, um, just take note, uh, the tummy tuck, I mean, you don't have to go through yeah. that uh, yeah. that route. And we also have to just embrace. Embrace? Yeah, embrace. It's a, another phase scars. of life. Yeah, metal scars, <laughs> another phase of life. Yeah. Um, it's a new stage yeah, of motherhood. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, Kak Misma, rasanya macam gini kan? Mungkin oh, okay. kita pun memang ada that lump of that layer kan Memang mm -hmm. tu lah saya dah cakap uh, Kita invest in inner wear mm -hmm. Kita kalau pakai, pakai gerda ke corset Pakailah mm -hmm. untuk kita look nicer in abaya In our dresses mm -hmm. As long as nobody sees <laughs> It's fine, it's not in our wear and, and also you can do a certain um, abdominal yeah. exercises Which later a strong on core. Yeah. Yeah, Because strong core is what we want yeah, It's How, the pillar yeah, yeah, that's right And of course we already kita banyak kita me sharing ni memang banyak orang dah cakap eat lean low fat mm -hmm. macam-macam diet lah untuk yeah. kempiskan perut dan mm. apa pendapat Ziwi what's your secret when it comes to diet nutrition misalnya okay, uh, of mm -hmm. course we, we always say balanced diet mm -hmm. but what is balanced diet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so during the first stage of um, when i want to lose a little bit of body fat for my post pregnancy yeah. i have uh, i use this app Okay. Um, it's called My Fitness Pal. Mm, okay. My fi Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal. My, my Fitness Pal. Okay. My Fitness Pal. Mm -hmm. Or you can even go to health promotion board called 365. Health, is it health 365? Okay. Yeah, you can just check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, where you can actually um, clock in your food consumption. Uh -huh. Right. It's local food. Uh, kalau yeah. you makan nasi right. berani, uh. you tak you tak nasi berani berapa <laughs> kalori? Uh, jangan terpanjat. <laughs> jangan terlalu <laughs> isap. Eh. Uh. Insyaallah. <laughs> so they will ask you um, like how much weight are you looking at to lose, and then what's the uh, what's your age or okay. your profiling? So very accurate, eh? Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind a, of customized. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's an estimate range. Yeah, it's an estimate range. So at least there's uh, some app to kind of guide you. So mm. every time you eat mm -mm. and then you can just clock in through ah, that app. Brilliant. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you use that app? Yes, I use that app. I use that app for the first few months 
and it actually helped me a lot. Okay. And of course, oh. during the uh, post pregnancy uh, confinement food also. Oh, oh, betul, eh? You makan confinement yes, food? Yes, yes, I yeah. did. I uh-huh. swallowed everything because I believe that ada the punya reason eh kenapa mm-hmm. confinement practices ni berkesan. Yes. Dan terpaksa lah jamu ke yeah. ikan haruan dan uh, semua. Oh, apa sahaja kita bengkong uh-huh. satu bulan bengkong mm-hmm. tu. Uh, kerana saya dah tak pregnancy memang loose skin and then the yang kata kat Misna tu that lump that layer ada ada ada. <laughs> In fact, was very depressing for me to yeah. to see. So I realised the lepas confinement satu bulan saya teruskan dengan saya beli gede. Kenapa? yang soft punya yang mm-hmm. yang to hold that so nampak cantik mm. rapi lah bila kita yeah. pakai baju blouse kan yeah. apa so kalau tak is not nice memang mm-hmm. dan kalau boleh kita jangan tengok selalu baik kita lebih bersyukur yang kita ada anak to to achieve that yeah. <laughs> we got something out of our stomach lah like. yes. kata orang ada hasil lah <laughs> juga <laughs> kalau tak pun buat apa kan kita yeah. flat tummy but, but so kita kena cari reason to motivate us and be positive mm-hmm. ya yeah. Apa yang, lagi your, uh, how about your workout in terms of tummy okay. for masa dalam dan lepas berana? Okay, of mm-hmm. course uh, we have to focus on the three components of fitness, okay. cardiovascular. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, selalu banyak orang buat a lot of sit ups, uh-uh. sit ups. So does it mean? Kalau you buat sit ups, beribu, beribu berjuta pun? kali. Hmm. Okay, maybe you have a strong muscles That's underneath. Not. Tapi okay, when it comes to fats, there's two types of fat. Hmm. Ada okay, the first one is called visceral fats. Yeah. Visceral fats is the fats surrounding you punya organ lah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. And then the second okay. one is the subcutaneous fat, which is the fat uh, underneath your tissue, uh-uh. which we can see. Um, and especially if you have a bigger belly. Okay, usually d- your visceral fats expanded out to the front. So right. hence, it gives you a uh, much yeah. uh, the visual the of... The visual itulah yang tak sedap. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Itu yang kita... Itu kalau you bengkong banyak pun tersendat. Tak boleh, tak boleh uh-huh. makan. Jadi apa nasihat anda <laughs> untuk mereka yang have that kind of body? Okay, for like for workout, you buat you punya cardiovascular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just do, especially... After giving birth, just start with easy steps first. Do 150 minutes of moderate okay. physical activity okay, okay. per week. So that's based recommendation by Health Promotion Board. So 150 okay. ke 250. Right. And then kalau you ada macam tracker, yeah. you boleh pakai yeah. tracker macam Fitbit ke, yeah. uh, atau uh, there's other brands out there. Yeah. Uh, clock in about 10,000 steps. Walaupun you tak boleh keluar rumah, since you're in Uh, after confinement, you can exercise, but you cannot go out. You can still do a lot of movement at home. That's right. Yeah. Ya, yeah, cakap pasal at home ni, mm-hmm. memang dulu bila saya dah C-section ni, eh, 3 mm-hmm. bulan kan doktor cakap masih belum boleh. Mm-hmm. Dan juga um, kita not so mobile. Pasal mm-hmm. ada anak nombor 2, lepas tu nombor 3. I think we can share with them how we can work out. Yang mm-hmm. kata orang practical. Mm-hmm. So for me, I took walks uh, with my baby in the stroller. Mm-hmm. Habis yang nombor 2 on the sling. So mm-hmm. ada weight standing lah sikit <laughs> kan. <laughs> And I walk along my park. Connector, mm-hmm. and I remember that I always look forward to that because best macam kita dapat yeah. ambil angin juga mm. dan and spend time. Mm. Tapi yeah, spend time with the kids. How about you? What, what um, do you do? That was my first step also. Mm-hmm. With time uh, mm-hmm. after the first few, I mean during the first few weeks, mm-hmm. uh, I do a lot of walking with my mm-hmm. baby uh, with yeah. the stroller. Stroller. I always see post kan? yeah. kat playground. Yes, yeah. and then. Uh, you shared some videos. Jadi kalau nak tengok Jiwi punya workout when she was baru melahirkan eh, mm-hmm. ada dekat your Facebook, Facebook City yeah. Jiwi. Okay, yes. continue. Um, and then a uh, lot of walking and then just basic body weight exercise like mm-hmm. squats, right. push up, um, planks, mm-hmm. uh, just basic simple mm-hmm. workout. Mm-hmm. Nothing too intense because mm-hmm. uh, I want to go in stages. So I want to focus on recovery as well. Okay. Yeah, mm. recovery is important. And, mm. and that's why juga confinement punya makanan tu. Ha, ah, confinement Ikan, makanan. Ikan, supi, things like that. Ikan haruan lah. Haruan, la. yeah. It's important eh. Uh-huh. Macam recovery. Jadi kita macam selalu fikir nak kurus tapi tak fikir recovery stage dulu. Mm. Yang you comment lah kalau apa yang you makan. Mm, cuba share eh. Yeah, yeah, apa share, yang share anda sanggup kita. makan. Dan <laughs> I also took chicken essence. Oh, you take? Kan? Oh, yes. yes I took, yeah. yeah. Especially oh. C-section. Orang takut-takut kan. Like, <laughs> dalam orang tak nampak lagi 
<laughs> like coconut chunker. So <laughs> I was a bit scared of that. And um, uh, I want to talk about um, okay, perut kempis. So sekarang Zivi rasa dah kempis habis atau <laughs> <laughs> kalau nak kempis, kau boleh nak kempis le tak ada. Okay. Um, no, some people like they want six pack abs. Okay. okay, macam kita nak manage this kind of expectation. Uh, okay, I punya fokus uh, it's not six pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Alhamdulillah Actually, kalau saya buat. Boleh. <laughs> 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 kalau boleh muat yang mana baju-baju semua ya yeah. uh, yang so mm. I tak payah shopping banyak sangat ya yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's uh, enough right yeah, like it. I said apa yang penting saya rasa untuk ibu-ibu kita mm. nampak cantik dalam kebaya kita mm-hmm. kebaya kita kita dah cukup cantik mm. jadi ada yang tak sabar dia orang cakap gini eh but my stomach is really big how mm. can I shrink it just mm-hmm. stomach what do you think of this comment macam nak kempiskan perut saja macam rasanya uh, lain semua dah kurus tapi mm-hmm. stomach masih besar Uh, of course, food. <laughs> food, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, food. The diet. Eh? The diet and uh, tadi I share green tea. I think that's one of the biggest tip that I can uh, give you all. Uh, mm. Green drip cake. But if you still breastfeeding, uh, jangan minum banyak sangat. Just satu cawan satu mm. hari. Pasal you still have caffeine. Oh, yes. Yeah, and but green tea have antioxidants that mm. actually helps in reduce bloat. Oh, uh, antioxidant. Eh? Itu mm. baru ada orang tanya to re- how to prevent water retention and bloatedness in the yes. blue skin uh, amina amina has already five kids and she's my boot camper so oh, hi amina so, you know siti amina isha yeah. yeah and so you were saying uh, try to okay. avoid caffeine uh, i mean drink you uh, can still drink drinking, green but tea but it's great actually help yes. to boost metabolism oh, yes. Um, yeah. And you can see, okay, the common mistake selalu mm. orang kata, mm. okay, pasal I ada water retention, mm. bloatedness, so I don't drink water. Oh yeah. But the yes. thing is, the reverse, yeah, you have to drink lots of water. Pasal, kalau your body don't drink enough water, your body is telling like, hey, she is, she or he is not hydrated enough. Right. Then they will retain every water that's oh in yes. your body and, conserve and then conserve and hold. Mm. Hence, the bloatedness yeah. comes in. And of course, you have to sweat it out. Mm. Sweating is good because it actually helps to expel water. So. Yeah, so I guess the quality of apa minuman tu. Ah, ah, kita minum air, minum air. Tapi bila di, kita investigate apa yang kita minum tu, bukanlah uh-huh. yang sesuai untuk kita nak flush out mm-hmm. toxin. So it's plain water is the best. Plain water, yeah. you can add a bit yeah. of lemon. lemon yeah. uh, mint leaves. Yeah, mint know, leaves. Some people don't like plain water. They say it's so tasty. Mm-hmm. So it's just spice it up. Infused yeah. water. Infused water. Yeah, infused water uh, yeah. And also you can add some chia seeds as well. Yeah, yeah because chia seeds are the form of fiber. Mm-hmm. It actually okay. helps in uh, belly bloating. Mm-hmm. I mean, reduce the belly bloat yep. so you can try so yeah. one of the my favorite tea is yeah. i like if i have chia seeds i like to put um, tea and chia seeds so you can try that right that's nice mm. and for me pula i believe in avocados ah, okay. uh, but of course once a, uh, in a week i would take two only mm-hmm. yeah, i mean it's still high calories yeah. but good it's fat, good fats and they say it's barely fat mm-hmm. burning i don't know yeah. how true that is but for yeah. me i find that it says shades me so mm-hmm. macam kalau i need to somehow need butter <laughs> like something yeah. like shock kan but mm. when you take avocados it does cre- uh, kill the cravings yes. for such food yes. that you so try to find something, something that works for you mm. kan and I, I like green tea as well mm-hmm. in I, I stop I will drink cafe in the morning I do drink coffee mm-hmm. every petang-petang I will choose green tea hot mm-hmm. and just empty like mm-hmm. kosong lah kan mm-hmm. yeah and it does make you satisfied macam like, I, I don't know. Yeah. Cr- yeah I, Because I if you <laughs> try to apa, withdraw everything and Tidak then tak don't tak find boleh. a good substitute, uh-uh. then you tahan, 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 tahan. Uh-uh, lepas tu, betul. okay. Tak boleh and tahan it, lagi. And it's very depressing. Because mm. macam you kena cut out all your favorite food, mm-hmm. tak perlu semua kita cut out. Terus serta. Eh? Yeah. Kita sikit-sikit all in moderation. Lah. Okay, thank you for sharing about your perut kempis. So after this, kita ada demo uh, Coach Zivi, mother of two, will share with us her favorite uh, abs exercise that yes. is very very suitable untuk orang-orang yang baru melahirkan yang tak confident untuk go vigorous kata <laughs> cakap uh, Kak Misna ke tadi okay yeah. I am Haslin the Ali founder of Fitfab the leading muslima fitness and wellness movement in Singapore I founded Fitfab in 2014 In 2015, I launched my first line of FitFab apparel.
Till today, I am designing and creating head to toe Muslimah apparel fit for the active hijabis. Plan kita ni berjaya kan? <laughs> Gagah seperti naga. Cerita setiap masa. Satu tentang postnatal blues and also uh, boleh ke kita spot training perut kempis sahaja badan yang lain belum kempis kita nak kempis perut. <laughs> so kita very lucky we have a mother who's also a coach and a personal trainer and certified. Jadi apa dia uh, jawapannya, coach? Okay, pertama we cannot spot train. Okay, uh -huh. you cannot expect buat banyak sit up, buat <laughs> banyak. Jadi you sit up satu juta, uh, satu juta kurus, sit eh. up and then you six see pack six keluar. pack flat stomach. <laughs> Tapi yang lain-lain semua tak exactly, kerja kan. Yeah. Uh, you still have to do a full body workout. Uh, a full body workout um, like your squats, your lunges, yes, your upper body, ups, your yeah. push-ups. Um, so you still have to work your body as um, overall mm. because when you do your body, um, a full body workout, your core is also, also firing engaged, up. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. engaged throughout the whole time. Yeah. It's the main strong pillar. Mm -hmm. Itulah macam kalau kita cakap orang tak faham, kita cakap macam ni. Kalau kita asyik jalan je, adakah kaki kita kurus? Macam kita kan selalu pakai kaki yeah. tak kan? So, uh -huh. we also can just do the apps and think that kita boleh mm -hmm. kecilkan perut. So, it's an overall, so it's a lifestyle also. Yeah. Bagi Haslinda, one of my, I think lah for me work mm. daripada dulu sampai sekarang is that I tak makan selepas maghrib lah. Yeah. Ah, dan itu Jangan makan lewat malam ah, Pasal apa? Betul kan? Kalau kita makan, <laughs> memang perut tu kembung kan? Uh -huh. Mestilah makanan tu nak take space dekat dalam Jadi janganlah nak ukur lepas dah makan kan? <laughs> <laughs> apa kata kita makan sebelum maghrib Besok kita tengok how flat our stomach Jadi ada up sikit rasa motivation um, Betul tak? Lagi nak buat <laughs> nak buat exercise banyak Itu saya punya number one tip lah yeah. Okay, sendiri apa? What's your number one tip? Uh, okay. Actually, mother? jangan makan lewat malam mm -hmm. That's That's great. Pasal kalau you supper. Ah, uh, supper uh -huh. tu. Hapuskan that, uh, that yeah. apa? I tahulah kita sebaik. Ini Melayu lah. suka hangout kat Timpang Bedok. Bumbu iPhone. Uh, 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 Alah, uh, uh, makan goreng pisang. <laughs> ah, betul. Uh, so, yeah. so, still yeah. boleh hangout lewat malam kalau dengan kawan ke apa. Ah, Tapi, sekali-sekala eh. uh, boleh. Ah, Tapi, okay. ingat sekali-sekala selalu. Selalunya orang kata sekali-sekala. Uh -huh. Okay, hari ni sekali-sekala makan goreng pisang. Uh, Besok sekali-sekala makan nasi lemak. Uh, Lepas tu, <laughs> sekali-sekala <laughs> benda lah. <laughs> Bila betul. lah, mau okay. game. Sekali-sekala <laughs> bermakna mungkin the most minggu sekali atau seminggu satu dalam sebulan hmm. eh. Bukan every day ada cheat meal tau. Okay. <laughs> ah yes, cheat meal. Yeah, cheat yeah. meals, yeah. It's good. Uh, we have we can have cheat meal. Mm. Um, 
And actually, but uh, you are the buat 21 hari. I'm doing it right now. The mm-hmm. 21 days no junk food challenge. Can we have that list of uh, things that boleh yang pantang pantang? 21, 21 days hari. no junk food challenge. Okay. No junk food challenge. Basically, memang saya amalkan ni bila dah balik holiday dah macam cruise. Kita dah ter ter kan, termakan ice cream. Pada hati ice cream. All good. <laughs> Kat cruise tu kehausan dah kepanasan. So the 21 days no junk food challenge yang saya buat sekarang together with some of my followers. Ooh. No chocolate, no candy, no cookies. No fast food, no chips, no white bread, no soda, no ice cream, no cake, donuts, pastry, no refined sugar, white sugar, or corn syrup, no soda, no store bought juice, or no fried food. Okay. So this is Ooh. just for 21 days. Yeah. So, pasal apa? Macam rehab lah eh. You mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. Kalau tak nak tunggu bila, nak start tu semua. Jadi, I find that it's very effective for me. Mm-hmm. For the three weeks. Lepas tu dah three weeks, dah macam rasa dah really, really apa tu, uh, adjust balik kita punya yeah. lidah ni. It kind yeah. of reset your punya body system. Yes. Yeah. And, and that is how effective it is. It is not a, a diet plan. Yeah. It is a challenge. And also, you're forced in a way to mm. cari like more healthier Center, stuff uh, healthier stuff yeah, yeah. discipline ourselves so itu pantang bagi mereka yang bukan bukan yang baru beranak lah mm-hmm. pantang untuk ibu-ibu yang biasa macam kita ni kita nak start something kita apa, cak, apa kata kita cuba I'm on my second day mm-hmm. now so ah. Uh-uh, tadi adalah orang yang cuba menggoda dengan cendol tapi no I said masa kat gelang oh no okay but uh, so such is uh, the, the discipline kita mm-hmm. berpantang mm-hmm. juga and kita cakap pasal sport training tadi eh. mm-hmm. uh, dan bagi Zivi uh, so you also don't eat at night kan tak ada um, siapa no, yeah so I try pasal okay mm-hmm. selalunya kan kena ada this class uh, sampai pukul 8 malam mm-hmm. 9 malam oh, uh, so uh, in between uh-huh. so I have uh, earlier dinner so oh, makan dulu I makan dulu. So I try to eat, try to kick start earlier. I um, mean my mm-hmm. meals. Mm-hmm. Then probably I finish about six o'clock. Uh-huh. Then I really start teaching classes. Okay. Yeah. Tapi kalau for those yang baru habis kerja, mm-hmm. office, pukul lima, pukul enam, mm-hmm. then you can start um, having your dinner um, as soon as possible. possible. Okay, mm. saya ada soalan untuk Zivi. Jika mm-hmm. let's say you lapar lah pukul sembilan, mm-hmm. masa dah lepas time timing kan dah uh-huh. boleh makan, what do you eat? Let's say you are really hungry that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. What do I usually eat at night? Okay, uh, I try to. Lapar. Kalau selalu tak makan kan? Mm-hmm. Tapi kalau mm-hmm. macam really really particularly macam hari tu kebulus macam atau mm-hmm. belum makan dinner balik kelas rasa lapar. Macam mana? I try to grab um, let's say you ha- if you have an apple or a banana just Fruits to eh? yeah. Or uh, let's say if you have sweet craving. Okay, mm. I mean I have a sweet tooth. Oh, so okay. if there's if you have yogurt, um, yogurt natural. Yeah, natural, natural yogurt, yogurt. Okay. and then you can cut your fruits there, and then just put it in, um, okay. and then you can consume. Tapi yang paling penting, tip, I lupa nak bilang, tip top, paling penting, kat rumah, especially kat rumah, kalau you ada a lot of junk food, put them away. You, you ada chocolate ke, you ada, because, yeah, out outside, out of mind. That's the most important thing. Out of sight, ah, out of mind. Betul. Yeah. Out of mind. Dan kalau boleh, bila saya dengar orang cakap ada keropok macam saya terbeli dari mm-hmm. Surabaya tu, saya dah bagi-bagikan harta kan pada mak mentua <laughs> ibu saya. Jadi dah tak ada sangat. Mm-hmm. Memang kalau kita beli, kita tahu ada, we will grab for it. Yes, of course. Kan? Yeah. Ha, jadi sedekah kan keropok tu. Berilah kan kepada <laughs> siapa yang perlu. Ya, memerlukan. <laughs> yeah. Memerlukan. Eh. Ha, ya. Jangan beli. Kalau beli, kita stock up. That's why before the 21 days, no mm-hmm. jumper challenge tu, uh, I did go to the supermarket, mm-hmm. beli yogurt lah, beli fruits mm. to stock up. Yeah. Because kalau you tak ada alternatif, of course lah, tak jadi dia punya <laughs> niat to cheat tu kan. Pasal selalu kat depan mata, jadi mm. walaupun berapa disiplin pun you have, mm. yeah. kalau makanan tu sikat depan mata, mm. eh, ada kat Betul. depan lah. Siapa yeah. nak makan? Nanti mm. expired nanti. Kan? Jadi selalu ibu-ibu jadi tong sampah. Yes. Kita oh. nak perhabiskan kita punya masakan. Uh-huh. Itu. <laughs> Betul tak? Betul. So, yeah. Suami anak suruh makan. Jadi itu pasal kalau anak-anak makan, uh, sometimes kadang-kadang moms, hmm. orang suka makan apa yang left over. Left over so yeah. yeah. So kita try, yeah, especially for Melayu, kita uh-huh. selalu ada. Yeah, yeah, tak boleh membazir. Ah, mm-hmm. jangan membazir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, betul betul. Okay, dan nak cakap pasal ibu-ibu ni uh, semalam kita mm. baru ada activity yang amat menggembirakan uh, dan jom kurus participants were on this uh, program Dragon Ball. Wow. Jadi apa kata kalau kita tengok sedikit video ini? Hey. I'm Hasli 
Magna Ali from FitFab and founder of FitFab and I'm so happy to be here. I have with me like 40 participants from Jong Guru Season 4 and this is our Fit Weeks program and we are so happy to be able to do our first water activity with Passion Day. Fun, right? It was fun, uh, it's, it's good for bonding and you know, just having fun with your team. We must work as a team. Team spirit, teamwork, learn to coordinate, and then the most best part is we have fun! The event is, uh, is brilliant. It's the first time for FitFab to have uh, a water related activity. Overall, I think the two groups that we have for Joan Cruz, they're very lucky because it's our kickoff, it's our flagship, and they get to experience it first, the Joan Cruz participants. In Dragon Boat, if you are not paddling uh, together with your teammates, your boat just doesn't move as fast as your opponents. Team spirit is very high. It, it helps them bond a little bit more better as well. Some of them actually know very little about each other, but now today, because they know they have to work together, they actually work together, and I think that's, that's just brilliant. I think the event and the whole thing came out even better than I had envisioned. I was quite nervous because it's our first time and the ladies were so super excited. I think it has to be one of our key programs in Jungkurus. I think uh, we have a lot of land activities, land sports, uh, but we don't have water sports. So I think it's time that we include this in. And with this introduction and the positive feedback, uh, I think that for sure we have to have it. And I think for FitFab as well, we're going to organize some events that they will have also a shot at trying this out. I say fit, you say fab. Oh. Fit! <laughs> Ready to exercise. Yes. <laughs> if you're at home, you can join us in this yeah. uh, short demo. Uh, Zee, saya, saya suruh Zee kongsi her uh, top three abs workout. Yang sesuai untuk kita yang macam uh, belum boleh agresif sangat with our mm -hmm. abs workout. Lah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so eh. these three exercises is great for recovery as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps to wake up and fire the core muscles. Mm -hmm. So. Try to follow as much as you can. I will show option level 1 and level 2. Okay. Then you will try interchange in between if you want to. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. So we're going to start off with exercise number one. one. So this is called a boat pose. So from here, legs to the front, bend your knees, hands grab on behind your thighs, pull your belly button in. Okay. So lean back slightly. Okay. Shoulders away from your ears. Okay. This is level one. For some, especially after giving birth, this, you already start to feel yeah. the fire on your core. Me, yeah. even for those tak payah nak tunggu lepas mengandung lah. Kalau you dah lama yeah. tak buat exercise. Kita yang dah overdue ni <laughs> boleh buat lagi. <laughs> <laughs> boleh rasa. <laughs> okay, then gonna try ramp up a little bit. Okay. Extend one leg up. Okay, you don't have to straighten so much, but you okay. can just lift. But if you can straighten, go ahead depending mm -hmm. on your flexibility. Yep. Then just stay there for about 10 seconds. Just hold there. Dia rasa tak? Rasa ada menggeletar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then, okay, we switch and hold there. Okay, there you go. Then hold there. That's level two. We're gonna try level three. Okay. Place hands here, shoulders okay. away, and lift both legs up. And hold there. Yep. Okay, and hold, pull it in. Try let go one hand. And then stay here, feel good. Wow. And then switch over. Just op you can open up your both hands <laughs> and hold there. And breathe. <laughs> Hold yeah. there and slowly coming back. Yeah. So you can stay dalam sepuluh saat ke tiga puluh saat depending on your yes. fitness level. Yeah. For and do about three to five sets. Okay. So that's exercise Second number one. Okay. Yep. We're number gonna go two. exercise number two. We're gonna bring your body face down. Okay, especially those okay. yang buat boot camp, buat workout, you always hear plank. And plank yeah. is the best um, 
core. Core yeah. exercise. Uh, simple. From here, place your hands down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Level one, just step your legs a little bit to the back, but still dropping your knees down. Okay, stay here, but hinge your hip forward and stay there. All right. And you can even feel your core start to fire up. Yeah. From here, make sure your shoulders are down and away from it. Yes. Okay, we're going to try just level two. Just bring one knee off and hold there. Yep. Okay. So you can start there. Yeah, uh, siapa nama uh, kakak tu yang tanya pasal C-section tadi? Kak Misna. Ah, uh, Kak Misna, Kak you pun ini. boleh join. Tak vigorous langsung uh, tapi sungguh terasa di situ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then level 3, tak uh -huh. toes, both yeah. knees off and hold. Okay. The key is to shift your body weight to the front and hold. Right. Okay. Common mistake Okay, ponggong all up in the air, yeah. uh, macam bukit timah, tak boleh. Kena turun and hold there. Yeah, okay. But here, stay eh, Kasinda. Pull your belly button in and stay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dia tak, warm, dia tak warm up, jadi it's okay, it's normal to feel. Yeah. See, oh, see all the muscle, eh, okay, <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah, so you have to pull, pusat lah. Yes. Tarik ke dalam, eh. Yeah. Then, you can stay there for 10 seconds and then on go about one minute. And how many sets? Three to five. Three to yeah. five sets. Yeah. Okay, so, so do, that's number two. Yeah. Do that every day. It's good for you. Okay. <laughs> and mm. third exercise, yeah. belly breathing brace workout. Okay. okay. Usually we focus on all the exercise, but we forget how to activate and how to activate your core and how to breathe properly. So probably you can be on your knees or standing up or whichever you're comfortable. Okay. So first, keep your body upright. Wrap your hands this way. Four mm. fingers in and hold there. Just wrap it in and from here, just take a deep breath in. Okay, first breathe in. First inhale from the nose and exhale through the mouth. Okay, that's the number one. But number two, now I want you to really breathe in, inhale and hold. Macam you pergi fitting room. Uh, mm. You pergi fitting room yeah. and then you macam nak pakai jeans, ada ketat sikit. Nak paksa masuk lah. Tak nak ambil mm -hmm. size yang besar, uh, nak stay nak that size. Uh, uh, jadi you tarik lah. Macam yeah. gitu, you stay okay. there. Then hold, but make sure you can still breathe. Mm -hmm. From here, you inhale. Expand a little bit of your abdominals and exhale. Pull your belly button in. Yeah. And, and again, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. So you will feel that your abdominals, your yeah. perut, going this way yeah. and coming in. Slowly, but eh, you put your belly button still must pull in. Yeah. You put your pull in. Yeah. So that will help to slowly fire your muscles underneath, especially. So mm. not just working on the that's top, right. top yeah, yeah. but you're working underneath as well, inside oh, that's out. That's a great one. Thank you. Yes. So we have three, right? Yes, all one. yes. Okay, jadi berapa kali Jimmy buat ni bila? Uh, especially after give birth, uh. I do it. Uh